Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Hero. As you can see here, I got some uh, terrain pieces I'm planning on building here uh, shortly. But I wanted to do a quick little video and review. This is a uh, Micro Art Studios HDF terrain uh, officially licensed bowl action stuff. And what's great about all this stuff, guys, is that uh, once you build it, as you see there in the picture, it's all pre-painted, guys. So it's just assembly and put it on the table. Uh, I'm gonna. I, oh. Uh, Sorry about that. I got uh, the Normandy farmhouse here. I got the homestead and outbuildings. I got a Normandy townhouse one. And the Normandy garage and petrol station. Like I said, I'm going to throw these together quick. And then uh, once they're all assembled, I'm going to give you a nice close-up view of what they actually look like all done. And let you know about the instructions and how it was assembling and everything else, guys. So just stay tuned and uh, I'll be right back with these suckers done. Okay, well here we are. I went through and got all the uh, buildings that I got from Micro Art Studios built. I thought I'd put them on a table here and give you a little uh, demonstration of what these uh, houses and terrain actually look like on the table here. Um, I'm just panning back and forth here how I got so you see um, what they look like and how well they look. I'm, I'm totally amazed with these and like I said, these are all pre-painted and done, guys. All you got to do is uh, assemble them, glue them, and they go right on the table, guys. Uh, and they, they look, honestly, epic. What a time saver. Uh, like I said, I, I love building and uh, scratch building and everything else. As you can see, as some of the buildings here I already got. I 3D printed these and did all those myself. But it's always nice, too, you know, when you want to just get more stuff on the table. You know, build and right on the table, guys. But uh, right here is uh, the garage that I got done. Uh, it took about, uh, I'd say maybe about a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes on the garage here uh, as I got going. Um, started figuring stuff out and figuring out how to peel uh, uh, the protective uh, layer of um, coating that they got on the outside of these to protect the paint and the, you know, the paint schemes and everything. I am going to say make sure you go in the corners, you go real easy, make sure you keep it down uh, past a 45 degree angle when you're peeling it off. Uh, the protective tape, uh, I say it really helps on some of the corners, uh, guys, what I got, like you can see like little spots here and there uh, where the paints come off, no big major thing, but I, I found that it worked actually a lot better when you did that sharper uh, angle with peeling off the tape from peeling off the uh, paint. No, it's just a heads up there and if it does you guys can always go back and uh, touch it up with a marker guys but uh, just real quick on this one I'm going to do the best I can on this garage to see uh, there you go there's the inside doors on both end open up everything's real easy comes apart goes right back together guys everything's real well fit another heads up when you're assembling these guys before you glue anything I went through and pre-assembled to make sure everything fit uh here in a moment i'll show you the uh instructions uh not too bad on the instructions but you know just like everything else they're not i had a few problems in a few areas but uh nothing new. all right guys here's these instructions that i uh told you i would show you uh just real quick a single sheet of paper this is the one tri-level house there uh the skinnier um tall one and uh, like I said, I just go over real quick the instructions with it. it comes with a single sheet of paper most of the time. But as I said, most instructions, uh, they're not too bad. There was a couple times with a couple pieces here and there. It was a little confusing. But, you know, for the most part, they're pretty clear, guys. And if you've built this stuff before, you can kind of figure it out. But just real quick, I just wanted to give you a real quick demonstration of what they look like. This is the other farmhouse and as so you know not too bad at all guys no real problems like i said a couple times i was stumped on a little piece here or there but for the most part uh you could figure it out the only thing i thought it would have been better if they did it they actually numbered these pieces because some of these pieces look pretty close and uh that but that's why i said now uh, make sure you dry fit everything and have it all lined up first before you glue anything down so you don't get tripped all right, guys, let's get back to the rest of the video. Uh, here's the other Normandy house. This is a three-piece house. You got that there. You got that one there. 
in this house right here, guys. And like I said, I mean, they just look awesome on the table, guys. I mean, these things are awesome. I'll bring you in a little closer there. You can see all the stuff on the windows and the buildings, uh, on the walls, I mean. Uh, here's another one. It's three level. You know, you can pull this all apart, pull this whole thing up, and the base stays there, and then it's just rubble on the table. But everything fits together really nice. Everything comes up. Let's see if I can get this one. Uh, yeah, other side, of course. But uh, doing the best I can with one hand here, guys. Like I said, that, that one's a double level. Everything opens up. Some of the doors are glued, but you have options. Very easily, you can make them so they open. Uh, here's another house. Right here, another Normandy house. Looks awesome. Looks epic. Um, oh, wait, real quick on this, I, I'd say on each of these houses about an hour, hour and 15 minutes once I started figuring out how their instructions worked. As I kept going, they kept going a little faster. These are a little bit more detailed, a uh, lot more parts than the garage and um, say this house here to this house. There was a little bit more stuff. Same thing. You pull everything up. Ground floor is just rubble. Uh, everything comes off. This one was a little, I'll just do the top here. But that's the one top floor. There's another room over there. Whole bottom floor in it. I mean, these things are... Everything fits together really well. Uh, like I said, when you're gluing, make sure everything lines up. Really hold it. Give it a couple minutes so you don't have problems with the roofs. Just pay attention to it. And here's another one. Another Normandy house. This one's uh, more narrow uh, and taller. This is a, a three-story it's got a little wall and the door opens over there and it's got a little shed off there on the side. The roof comes off, but very detailed, guys. It just looks awesome. And I'd have to say as I was assembling these and I got them together, it was a little odd for me um, building terrain. Uh, when you assembled it all, it was all uh, already painted and everything was done. It felt kind of weird just uh, assembling and throwing on the table. And uh, as you can see here, we actually got a little game going. We're doing a little Normandy thing, my son and I. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to try to get some, uh, we're running through this game here, see if it works with the scenario that we built and where we are uh, planning on getting it up on YouTube, a little battle report, but, uh, it's the Americans landing at, uh, Omaha and, uh, coming on in. Yeah, I know that's Pegasus bridge, but that's what we got. But, uh, moving inland, one of the objectives, we're going to do, uh, kind of a campaign here where you got, you know, three or four objectives as you move through and reinforcements coming in, but we're, uh, working on it right now to see if everything works but anyway like i said i just wanted to show you those buildings here that from micro art studio um i'll put a link down and below in the video where you can get them from and uh just check them out guys totally worth the money i think these uh were anywhere between uh around 30 to 50 dollars a piece guys so not really bad for trying i think it's pretty fair and uh very well built or uh the materials uh actually really good all right, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Please comment below. Let me know what you think about all this uh, micro art studio. Don't forget, please subscribe. Show some uh, support for the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, Tabletop Hero, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys, for watching.